I would like to make a couple of uh, announcements for today. Uh, we can sometimes uh, solve most of the problems when we arrange a conference, but we cannot fight Mother Nature. And this is what happened yesterday. Uh, because of Gloria, the hurricane, we lost uh, the second speaker for today's schedule, John Stubbs, who was stranded in New York City, and he couldn't go anywhere. The earliest flight he could get was this morning about 9.45 out of Newark, and that flight would get him here about uh, 12.30 which was past our uh, schedule this morning. So unfortunately, we lost a very good lecture, but we do have Reed Williamson and Tony Costello, who I'm sure are gonna do a fabulous work presenting ideas on Main Street and, and design for preservation. The second announcement I would like to make is uh, about our uh, luncheon and uh, the uh, quote-unquote hands-on uh, workshop we're going to be looking at three houses in the uh, National Historic District in Muncie. All three of them are excellent homes, outstanding uh, designs, and uh, all three of them are still under restoration, and you will be able to experience both the pain and the rewards of uh, what restoration is all about. I have maps here how to get there. We're going to meet there at about 12 o'clock for a... Uh, garden luncheon and right after lunch we're going to start our tours. What I would like to do since we're a fairly large group is uh, split in uh, two or three groups and uh, do the tours in sequence. So once we get to the uh, Meeker house which is the first stop uh, and we have our lunch there we're going to continue in groups and go through the homes. Um, if you have any questions, please, in, in terms of how to get there, please try to see me. Uh, I have the directions on the map. If you don't understand anything, let's talk about it. Uh, since we don't have any other announcements for the day, I would like to invite uh, Reedy Williamson to open the uh, discussions today on his uh, topic, which is uh, Main Street for uh, the national level and the state of Indiana. Well, that was a great day yesterday uh, with the presentations that we had uh, from uh, Francis Parker and Dwight Hoover and Dave Hermanson. It's good to see Dave still have the old fire in the belly. And then, of course, that inspirational talk by Gail Cook followed by uh, the, such a wise uh, uh, and appropriate and deserved choice of the uh, Indiana University Preservation uh, uh, Committee to recognize the Cooks for what they have done uh, so many years. Uh, it was a great day. And then, of course, followed last night uh, or capped last night, culminated last evening with the, with the uh, Grand Master, our preservation conscience, talking about uh, his uh, decades uh, in the field. I come uh, before you after that first day's tour de force uh, with a, a great deal uh, of humility. But I have brought slides. <laughs> Where would we preservationists be without slides? I can't remember the last time I stood on my feet before more than three people who were in, the, in an audience and talked for more than 15 minutes without showing the first slide. Buddy the other day said, you know, he said, you, you preservationists uh, take yourselves too darn seriously. You don't smile. He said, one of the things wrong with your, with your profession, with your discipline, you don't have any jokes. And I thought about that. And I said, well, I kind of smile occasionally uh, every now and then when the mood hits. 
But uh, do we take ourselves uh, too, too seriously? Uh, I think those of us think we're in a serious business. We have a mission to perform. Uh, if we don't get on with it, uh, nobody else will. Uh, we've got a lot of critiques and uh, critics uh, uh, always telling us uh, we're regressive, we're obstructionist, we're against this, uh, we aren't for that. So uh, it's kind of hard to smile sometimes, isn't it? Well, I am going to, uh, with great uh, temerity, uh, 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 try to tell a preservation joke. It's in the form of a conundrum. How many preservationists does it take to re screw in, a, to replace a light bulb that's burned out? Sam Roberson is excluded from answering this because he's heard it uh, before. If any of you were thinking four, you're absolutely correct. And why does it take four preservationists to replace a burned out light bulb? Well, quite obviously, if you give any kind of thought to it, it takes two to lament the demise of the old bulb. <laughs> it takes one to physically do the, uh, uh, the replacement work. And of course, the last guy's got to take slides of the entire episode, right? <laughs> right. And with that, uh, could we have the first slide, please? I guess through uh, 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 just a, a self-protection, uh, I was unable to find a decent demolition slide and uh, have since uh, made a request to my friend uh, Marsh Davis, a matriculator in this uh, excellent uh, uh, program uh, on historic preservation here, and one devil of a fine uh, photographer, to please scour the countryside for real good, demo for real good demolition slides uh, so we can uh, uh, hit that uh, naughtiness uh, pretty hard, uh, visually at least, uh, when we give uh, presentations. And Marsh, in his uh, usual modest, self-effacing uh, way, came to me and he said, uh, Reed, he said, where would you suggest I first look? And uh, I reminded uh, myself, oh my God, that's what our business is, isn't it? It's saving buildings. I mean, when you cut through all the rest of it, that's really what uh, those of us uh, who are uh, practitioners in preservation on uh, an organizational community, and in my case uh, now, thankfully, on the state level, that's really the bottom line. And the National uh, Main Street Program uh, uh, has, uh, at least uh, in, uh, in a good uh, compendium of opinion around the preservation uh, uh, thoughts in the country, provided another tool to stop uh, uh, the obliteration uh, that was uh, setting forth uh, uh, with wild uh, dispatch uh, and irresponsibility uh, during uh, 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 the 50s uh, and in the aftermath uh, of the Second World War and uh, laid uh, 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 to uh, a literal uh, arrest, uh, many of our historic uh, downtowns, of course, all in the name of new development, all in the name of progress. Uh, it was called urban renewal uh, from time to time. Uh, and uh, what uh, was uh, found as a result uh, really wasn't uh, that immediate mushrooming of, uh, uh, of, uh, uh, of expansion and new buildings uh, denoting a progress. Uh, but rather fallow uh, fields uh, uh, and uh, surface uh, uh, parking lots. We heard uh, uh, the other day, of course, about another approach. Uh, don't uh, uh, knock it all down, uh, cover it all up. Kind of uh, an architectural psoriasis uh, for downtown, if you will, uh, whereby uh, uh, with one uh, marvelous uh, thematic uh, swoop uh, of the developer or chamber of commerce or downtown merchants uh, inc a hand we can make everybody a look everybody else why well maybe uh, uh, 20 and 15 years ago it was thought to give quote an identity uh, unquote uh, uh, to uh, our downtown uh, or if we aren't going to look uh, all the same and like uh, everybody else 
maybe we can uh, develop uh, themes, you know, and uh, taking a page uh, from, the, uh, from the New Yorker uh, that does treat uh, preservation with a great uh, deal of, uh, of, uh, of good humor, I think, in its, uh, in its cartoon portrayals. We see Williamsburg going to the penultimate in the thematic presentation in converting their uh, parking meters to, uh, uh, to historic uh, sand uh, 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 glass. Uh, well, uh, with, the, with, the, with the establishment on a test basis uh, in 1977 uh, of uh, uh, three towns, uh, uh, Madison, Indiana, uh, proud to say, and the other two being Galesburg, uh, Illinois, uh, and uh, Hot Springs, South Dakota, an attempt uh, deliberate, uh, premeditated uh, uh, by the National Trust uh, was made uh, to try to uh, uh, effect uh, uh, and uh, correctly execute uh, a new approach to those old approaches that we saw uh, on the first uh, four slides uh, of, this, uh, 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 of this program. And Madison, uh, with a, a tradition uh, of uh, recognition uh, of its past uh, in its historic buildings, uh, 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 whipped to and for the first uh, uh, three years, uh, 77 uh, to 80, uh, established itself uh, solidly uh, uh, as a, a pioneering uh, small town uh, uh, community in the, in the, main, in the main street, mainstream uh, process. But that wasn't all in the late 70s and uh, early 80s uh, that was uh, happening uh, here vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, Main Street. One cannot overlook uh, what occurred uh, in New Harmony, a preservationist delight, uh, where uh, not a historic building is bulldozed, but lo and behold, a gas station is bulldozed uh, on Main Street uh, with uh, a recreational uh, uh, buildings then uh, put uh, in that gas station's uh, in that gas station's head kind of an Eden, kind of a heaven on earth for a preservationist. Get rid of all that bad stuff and put up what we want, by golly. Other bits and pieces of Main Street communities around the state. Uh, here, uh, Victor, Divertos, excuse me, uh, in uh, Main Street, uh, uh, Lincoln Way, Mishawaka, uh, converted to the village pump. Now, of course, uh, we're much cynical about this kind of overdone uh, restoration. But mind you, this is uh, some uh, 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 10 years ago when we started to see bits and pieces of uh, Indiana uh, Main Street uh, uh, come back. Not to let the whole flow get out uh, before uh, we could catch up. But organizationally, Historic Landmarks Foundation said, wait a minute, folks, uh, wait for us. We want to catch up. Uh, and uh, with uh, some of the examples uh, already uh, on site in Indiana, uh, an application was made to the National Endowment of the Arts. Uh, a Main Street exhibit uh, was uh, put together, uh, and around uh, we went with it uh, from town to town, uh, extolling the virtues of fixing up uh, what's there, uh, encouraging uh, the history of the buildings to reemerge from behind uh, uh, the the, the cover-ups uh, of all these years, and to not uh, tear down a good, uh, reasonable, sensible uh, building uh, in uh, in the name of uh, uh, of feigned uh, uh, progress. Uh, brochures uh, were developed. Uh, 1976 uh, uh, came. Uh, and a bicentennial program called simply How to Look at Your Town uh, uh, emerged uh, as a result, uh, whereby trips uh, were, were, were made uh, to uh, communities uh, that would uh, have us. Uh, and for one day, we kind of preservation blitz the community, if you will, to have the local community uh, relook uh, at uh, their own main streets relook uh, at uh, what happens uh, not to just the missing building uh, if it's torn down 
uh, but the entire streetscape uh, as a missing tooth and an otherwise uh, perfect uh, 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 dental set. And again, Madison used, uh, as seen here, uh, as uh, the uh, premier uh, living, uh, uh, working, uh, struggling Indiana uh, example of the Main Street, uh, of the Main Street uh, uh, process. The amazing uh, discovery to us, uh, and it shouldn't have been so amazing if we'd thought about it at all or thought about our own experiences, were people uh, in, uh, in their own communities had not looked at their communities really hard, uh, had seen uh, uh, buildings uh, for so long uh, in, the, in their uh, everyday lives uh, that they were uh, somewhat uh, taken for granted. Uh, and when uh, our uh, architectural experts, architectural historians, just plain historians, uh, would start to uh, emphasize uh, the virtues of the historic downtowns uh, uh, in uh, Indiana downtowns, uh, the reawakening uh, started uh, uh, virtually uh, immediately, a reawareness uh, of, uh, uh, of what was there, not what was in Williamsburg or some other tourist town outstate, but what was right at home uh, under their uh, very feet. And there was some bad stuff that uh, uh, was there under their very feet, and cartoons that were used to illustrate uh, uh, the incongruity of a finely dressed uh, man with a, uh, what is that, a rush skirt? Uh, um, uh, in the same, in the incongruity of a fine, dignified building with a dignified top uh, and an undignified bottom. Graphics were used. Uh, this is a visual game. It shows well on the screen. It shows well in, uh, in book and picture form. Uh, and we don't have to oversell either uh, as, uh, as we uh, tried uh, to, uh, uh, to show. Deadwood, South Dakota was so concerned uh, that the tourist, the visitor to Deadwood, South Dakota would miss its historic Main Street that it not only put a banner up, it put an arrow. If you've been to Deadwood, South Dakota, there's one way in and there's one way out. And it's, both, it's, it, it's on this same street. The disappointing factor was that once you turn that street, and historic Main Street in Deadwood, South Dakota, you got more of the same you tried to leave behind at home. Signs, signs, signs are competing with one another, turning a building into a billboard, covering up the architectural niceties and ornamentation on the fronts, and the disappointment, at least, to the, with the group that I was with, was, was rather severe. So why go to historic Deadwood, South Dakota, when in fact we can go to Huntington, Indiana, and see historic buildings, revere historic buildings right here uh, in our uh, own state. Some of which, of course, covered up uh, uh, another cartoon. I love this one that shouts me and affronts the sidewalk pedestrian uh, 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 physically uh, uh, with, uh, with other examples of what used to be a good signage uh, and what uh, uh, during uh, the uh, uh, mid-70s uh, was emerging uh, uh, as uh, appropriate signage to let, uh, let the building uh, shine through, uh, uh, so to speak. Tours of towns. Tours of Tours of towns uh, 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 were, were, were held uh, with, a, with the idea uh, of, uh, of not having people come into uh, uh, Indianapolis or into a classroom, but let's see it uh, uh, all. Let's see Main Street on the street uh, where it is. In Greencastle, uh, here uh, uh, in Lafayette, uh, here uh, uh, in Jasper, uh, and here uh, in Elkhart. During this time, uh, a, in my opinion at least, a most successful uh, union uh, uh, was reached uh, with uh, this uh, college uh, uh, of, uh, 
uh, of uh, architecture, uh, whereby uh, through its uh, division uh, of historic preservation, uh, professors uh, and students uh, were utilized uh, in, uh, in one and two day studies to show the local communities uh, what they had and more, even more importantly, uh, how uh, what they had could be translated into uh, what those historic buildings along Main Street uh, could uh, become. Here, the uh, Ball State uh, uh, component uh, makes a, a successful uh, presentation during the town tour program uh, to a group uh, uh, in Vincennes. The workshops, I wish I had a better picture, but uh, suffice to say uh, uh, that this will have to do. Workshops, uh, and the drawings uh, were open to the public, were held in downtown storefronts. Uh, here is a, a, ball, uh, a Ball State uh, 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 a representative in the uh, Logansport uh, uh, program uh, working on drawings in a storefront where the public, the merchants, the mayor, the elected officials, the business leadership were invited in to see uh, uh, how a, a designer uh, can uh, bring back uh, life uh, uh, into the Main Street uh, uh, itself. A great, a great many uh, of those uh, drawings uh, and uh, recommendations uh, were placed uh, into publications, uh, some of which I brought along, some of which I brought along for us today, and, and uh, uh, please uh, help yourself uh, liberally, and I mean that, uh, to uh, uh, the, the, the handouts on the table at the uh, registration point. The most popular uh, uh, during this period that was produced uh, uh, was the Victorian commercial architecture in Indiana, where inside uh, an identification uh, uh, sheet uh, was, uh, was produced uh, whereby uh, architectural styles uh, and eras uh, of commercial buildings uh, can uh, be seen in that uh, as a, as a as inveterate uh, building watchers uh, uh, emerged, uh, this uh, then became a handy guide uh, to building watching of the commercial uh, uh, variety. Some Ball State uh, drawings and uh, presentations uh, that uh, uh, were in the book. Uh, as a result of uh, this uh, college's uh, leadership, uh, others followed uh, suit. Uh, Purdue, uh, uh, incidentally, uh, represented uh, by uh, some of these uh, some of these programs here, uh, and in some cases, uh, uh, we were able to do uh, uh, reports uh, with the help of uh, David Hermanson and Harry Egink and uh, Tony Costello, and uh, I hesitate to name names because undoubtedly I've left out two or three other other folks that are probably in this room, and if I have, with apologies. It was a great program. And it uh, showed the way, and uh, we think it did a lot. Did a lot to then start things rolling, uh, uh, coming up to 1981 and 82, uh, where small communities embarked upon uh, relatively massive uh, programs. We're now in uh, North Vernon, uh, a, a good uh, 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 before and after. Uh, with uh, street lighting and, of course, other, uh, other amenities uh, uh, coming, in, uh, coming into play. At about that time, uh, the, the National uh, Main Street uh, Center uh, decided, uh, and wisely so, that instead of servicing individual communities as it had started in 1977 with the uh, three Midwestern communities that uh, we talked about, uh, that it was uh, much more efficient, uh, much better management uh, if uh, states uh, could uh, enter the competition. Uh, and uh, that occurred uh, with the first uh, uh, six states uh, being selected uh, at about this time. Indiana did uh, submit an application, uh, was, uh, uh, however, uh, uh, not one of the six. So that now the, 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 the evolution into a, a centralized and uh, Main Street uh, program emanating out of the National Trust's uh, office in Washington with, uh, uh, with funding uh, from, 
uh, Housing and Urban Development, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, uh, the Department of Agriculture, and probably about a few others that I've left out, uh, started, uh, the, started the program uh, on a dissemination on a statewide basis. And in the early 80s, uh, there were some spectacular renovations. Uh, uh, the, my favorite being this uh, wonderful uh, corner uh, 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 cladding uh, of a building in Huntington, uh, Indiana. As someone remarked, my God, is there really a building behind, uh, uh, behind that screen? Uh, and uh, here she comes uh, out uh, with the uh, final uh, after, as you see, before. I never tire of befores and afters. Never. Love them. The project uh, uh, started in Greencastle, Indiana in 1982. Here we are uh, on uh, Courthouse Square in Greencastle. Well, it may not be Greencastle. Make believe that it is, but that's Greencastle Courthouse. Uh, with the emphasis uh, on uh, picking up uh, where Madison left off, Realizing that Indiana wasn't selected in the first go-around of Main Street competition, but uh, trying to bring uh, back an organ the organizational approach uh, uh, with help uh, from the uh, private state organization uh, to, again, uh, test the water and test uh, the four-point approach that we've uh, heard about, uh, uh, reorganization, design, promotion, and economic restructuring. You heard a lot about those, uh, the, those, those four elements of the Main Street approach yesterday, to uh, uh, put it, uh, again, in a community uh, and, test, uh, and, and, and test it. Does it still work? Greencastle uh, uh, came up with uh, the necessary money uh, and uh, the hiring of a, a project manager. Uh, our organization helped in the acquisition of a, a corner uh, a building uh, in that uh, town and uh, its uh, renovation uh, uh, and restoration uh, as kind of the uh, uh, a show place uh, pump primer, if you will, starter uh, for the rest of the physical uh, 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 renovation uh, that uh, was to occur. The office was placed in the uh, rear of the building. Uh, we were established then uh, as a, a program, uh, and the community started uh, to uh, talk about itself, uh, and particularly its downtown again, uh, not uh, as an embarrassment, uh, not as something to, uh, as a place to avoid uh, when the Chamber of Commerce or the mayor would bring a, a new industrial prospect to town, uh, but as a, 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 an enrichment uh, of uh, community pride uh, and an establishment again of the base uh, uh, of uh, the community where, as uh, David uh, Hermanson took us so uh, wonderfully through yesterday, the community's uh, soul spirit uh, 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 and uh, uh, government uh, uh, reside. Main Street is, a, is, a, is an incremental program. It doesn't happen overnight. Uh, we must remember that. In, uh, in the dark, uh, uh, frustrating uh, early days of a, of a Main Street uh, project, uh, uh, when you uh, wish that everything would be uh, done uh, uh, next week or at least within uh, 30 to 60 days, the realization is that, that uh, it just doesn't happen. It takes time. It takes uh, a lot of talking, a lot of one-on-one -on -one, uh, work with the project manager uh, and his uh, organizational structure uh, really being the key Greencastle uh, has emerged uh, uh, as uh, uh, I would uh, I would say uh, 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 now the uh, now the uh, uh, leader uh, as to uh, uh, how to do it uh, uh, on a local basis. Uh, they uh, have been besieged with uh, out of uh, towners uh, uh, coming up there uh, uh, en masse uh, in uh, in groups uh, of uh, elected and non-elected. Uh, uh, leadership to find out uh, uh, how it could be done uh, uh, elsewhere. 
a lesson that uh, was learned early uh, in, uh, in both the, the Madison instance and the Greencastle instance uh, is an important one. And I like to uh, recall it to mind uh, uh, from time to time. And that is, is that uh, what comes first is not a plan. Uh, what comes first uh, is a commitment uh, and an organization uh, and a person in uh, the name of a project manager. That, I think, uh, is one of the uh, uh, hidden secrets of success uh, of these uh, uh, local programs. And that, after all, it's uh, people uh, who uh, uh, have to agree, who have to uh, join forces, uh, and uh, uh, people uh, are best uh, uh, convinced uh, and influenced uh, by other people, aren't they? Other people that uh, they trust, uh, believe in, they think have a sense, and who have uh, uh, a, a greater view uh, than just the, their own uh, selfish and narrow interests. So the plan, uh, uh, there was a plan, there is now a plan for Greencastle, came in about uh, uh, year one and three quarters. Uh, of a typical three-year Main Street initiation program. The plan came later. The plan was easier because after working with almost two years with the local community, it had its plan. It was in everybody's heads. There were some differentials, but those differences were mostly uh, details. The concept was there, uh, and it was a matter then of hiring the right uh, sensitive uh, uh, design uh, uh, a planning firm to actually uh, put it on paper. So we, 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 uh, I do not feel, uh, and we do not want to convey certainly that this is a planless program, uh, but a plan uh, placed uh, in, in, in proper uh, and uh, correct uh, perspective. There have been uh, uh, communities that have grabbed a hold uh, uh, here on uh, their own initiative, uh, picking up uh, the uh, precepts of the Main Street uh, program and putting them uh, into practice. Cordon is one, Warsaw is another, Valparaiso uh, 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 is another. Some of us were in Bloomington uh, uh, two days ago for a preservation conference in Bloomington, which was uh, hosted, uh, sponsored by their mayor. Lo and behold, uh, 60 people were in the audience. Uh, and uh, Bloomington, we can uh, now report, uh, has a, a Main Street uh, approach uh, as well. Early uh, uh, last fall, uh, uh, at about this time, it seemed to a few of us uh, that uh, Indiana, uh, as a state, uh, was ready uh, for uh, a Main Street program on a statewide basis. Uh, several of our friendly legislators uh, uh, were uh, contacted, and a Main Street uh, bill was inter introduced, authored by uh, Steve Moberly uh, uh, from uh, Shelbyville. Importantly, because uh, Representative Moberly is also the chairman of the Cities and Towns uh, uh, Committee in the House. And obviously, uh, this main, the Main Street uh, bill, a program for small cities and towns, would not fly without uh, the support and endorsement uh, of the uh, cities and towns organization uh, uh, and association uh, throughout the state. The bill uh, uh, was uh, uh, finally passed and signed into law by uh, Governor Orr, uh, here shaking hands uh, with Charles Niehaus, uh, who uh, helped uh, establish the uh, Greencastle program. Uh, Steve Moberly to the governor's left, you're right, uh, and uh, Frank O'Bannon uh, 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 to, uh, to the governor's right. Frank uh, being uh, from Cordon, and Cordon now uh, with a uh, representative uh, Main Street uh, program as well. 
the bill uh, said uh, that we would uh, uh, have uh, uh, for uh, no less uh, than uh, uh, three years uh, a, an organizational uh, uh, statewide effort established in the Department of Commerce uh, uh, under uh, uh, the Lieutenant Governor that would be uh, uh, governed uh, by a uh, Main Street uh, Council. I guess we could have uh, uh, that, the slides off and the lights up if uh, we, uh, it's possible. The national, the state Main Street Council uh, will consist of uh, 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 10 appointments uh, by the Lieutenant Governor. The Lieutenant Governor will serve a, a, as a chairman and those 10 appointments uh, have been made. For those of you interested in your own uh, community uh, being a Main Street uh, community, I'll, I'll give you uh, uh, who they are. The chairman of the council is Michael Shaver. He is the director, uh, the newly appointed by way of, uh, of uh, uh, two months ago, of the division of, uh, uh, the director of the Division of Community and Economic Development. Uh, he is chairman of the council. Uh, I serve on it. Charles Niehaus, who I mentioned earlier, serves on it. Richard Gantz, who I hope all of you know, is the Director of the Division of Historic Preservation, serves on it. Mike Quinn of the Association of Cities and Towns. Grant Monahan, the Indiana Retail Council. Richard Heupel of the Northwest Indiana Forum. Judy O'Bannon from Corden. Michael Carroll from the Lilly Endowment and Edward J. Bowman of the National Federation of Independent Businesses. The reason for the Retail Council and the Independent Businesses and the Association of Cities and Towns is uh, that the bill uh, says that uh, associations and organizations that have a common interest in the rejuvenation of Main Street shall be represented on the council and then goes and names some uh, uh, but not all. From a preservation standpoint, I feel uh, fairly comfortable in having uh, uh, at least uh, four, if you will, hardcore uh, preservationists uh, uh, on, uh, uh, on the council itself. The appropriation uh, was uh, $290,000. That's for a biennium uh, for a two-year period with $175,000 the first year and $115,000 the second year. The reason for the heavy front end load uh, was that the, 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 the attention that is needed by the National Main Street Center uh, in the first year and uh, is, is much heavier than it is uh, uh, in the second year. And part of the 175,000 goes to a contract with the National Main Street Center uh, whose services uh, consist of in addition to a full array of, uh, of visual aids, uh, 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 resource teams and experts that'll come to uh, Indiana uh, and help consult with the Indiana Center and also the individual uh, towns themselves uh, to meet with them, confer with them, uh, uh, and, uh, and advise. A component uh, of, the, uh, uh, of the bill uh, uh, says that uh, there, will, there will be an office and, and uh, under the Department of Commerce and uh, it's been decided that that office will consist initially of two people, one the director or coordinator uh, of the Main Street program for Indiana and a, uh, and a, and a support person. Originally, uh, we thought uh, an architect, uh, designer, uh, should be a part of that, uh, of that, uh, of that initial office. And uh, particularly those of you in the design profession and uh, those of you training designers uh, uh, should know that uh, the lieutenant governor said, no, I don't think that's right. I don't think we ought to have somebody in government doing what the private sector can do, has done, and maybe can even do better. Uh, so by his choice, uh, a part of that 175 the first year, a part of the 115 the second year, will go to private uh, designers uh, 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 and architectural firms that will help uh, in, uh, in, in, in the Main Street the design process, and it will not come out of the, uh, uh, not come out of the, uh, governmental, the governmental office. The <coughs> uh, program uh, uh, as we stand uh, uh, now uh, uh, 
uh, with, the, with the council being appointed. We'll have the council's first organizational meeting uh, on October 17th. And there'll be three items of business on the agenda that day. First item will be a review of those, uh, of those applicants uh, for the uh, Main Street, uh, uh, Main Street uh, coordinator. Uh, Mr. Shaver, uh, who's the chairman of the council and the new director of the Division of uh, Community and Economic Development, said he received about 60 applicants for the job, and uh, they have uh, been uh, initially called, although not finally called, and that, uh, that I think the review of those applications will be the first order of business. The second order of business will be to, to discuss uh, uh, the Main Street approach uh, here in Indiana. There uh, uh, was initially uh, from uh, uh, both the executive branch and the legislative branch uh, 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 quite a lot of discussion and talk about uh, having this a non-closed but a more populist approach uh, to Main Street. Uh, as you may know, uh, the uh, typical approach is for a state to select five uh, communities uh, and uh, only five in, in its selection process uh, per, per year if, if, the, if the state can, uh, can accommodate uh, more the second year than uh, perhaps another five are chosen, et cetera. But five seems to be the workable number, interestingly enough, uh, despite the size of the state uh, uh, and the staff. Uh, Indiana wanted to uh, broaden that a bit, not confine it. Uh, so the the result, uh, in all likelihood, will be some kind of a compromise between let everybody participate and everybody in on one hand, and a and a and a and a, and a, and a uh, only five can play. Uh, sorry for the rest of you folks. Uh, on the other hand, uh, in a three-tiered situation, where the top uh, tier would be the five, the traditional five cities uh, selected. And the criteria for that hopefully will run along uh, uh, traditional National Trust uh, uh, criteria lines that uh, uh, will, uh, will, will, will provide for a full-time project manager funding uh, for uh, 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 three years, a strong public-private support system, the capacity to implement the program, and let's not forget uh, an evidence of a strong historic fabric uh, 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 in the uh, downtown area, and, uh, and a statement of need. Uh, when we drop then to the second tier, uh, those will be uh, uh, cities, perhaps, the council hasn't decided, but uh, kind of the way it's going, uh, uh, I would think uh, the second tier would consist of those uh, cities and towns who have applied to be the, selected in the top five, but haven't been, haven't been selected. And their kind of treatment uh, would, would, and attention from the state uh, Main Street Center would be on a, on a lesser level than the, in, the, the intensity of the attention from the first five, uh, because the second five would receive its assistance uh, uh, probably only from the Department of Commerce field representatives, our regional offices. We have now five uh, uh, around the state. and. Uh, uh, perhaps uh, an additional services could be on a fee structure. And then the third tier is kind of everybody else, those uh, communities that are interested uh, but uh, did not apply. And uh, we would, uh, we initially think that they would have uh, access to materials already purchased uh, uh, by the state uh, uh, and, uh, uh, and some attention from a uh, from a speaker's bureau that, uh, that will be formed out of, the, out of the National Main Street Center. So that is where the, the project now uh, stands. There are some communities uh, that uh, went ahead, and I think they're to be congratulated. Uh, uh, Cordon, Frankfurt, uh, Warsaw, uh, uh, Greencastle, Valparaiso, Bloomington, who? Elkhart, um, but the selection hasn't been made. And to me, at least my one man's opinion, there's nothing wrong with uh, calling yourself proudly a Main, Street, uh, a Main Street community if you follow the precepts of the uh, uh, National Main Street uh, uh, program. Do we take questions now, George, or later, or how do you want to work that? 
And if there are no questions, I get to tell another preservation joke. You say, no, don't do that. Any questions? Yes, ma'am. They aren't yet. This is, uh, this is something, that the criteria is something we're kind of working on uh, right now. And uh, I was uh, somewhat maybe prematurely giving you what I would think would be logical criteria for the top five, which uh, isn't so difficult because it's generally the, the standard national Main Street criteria. And then the second, the second tier of cities would uh, be everybody that applied for the top five but didn't make it. And then the third tier is kind of anybody else that held up their hand, you know, saying they were interested. But the criteria for the top five would be a, a commitment for three years, full-time project manager, good historic fabric, statement of need, uh, strong uh, private uh, public uh, uh, sector uh, uh, support. Some of those uh, uh, elements, I would think, would be a legitimate criteria. You're larger than 50. Yeah. What are you without your pop? Without your student population? Your what? 60,000 without students in Muncie? My goodness. I was in Bloomington two days ago, and I asked that question down there. There's something like uh, 52,000 with students and 22 without. So they fall right in, you know, right in here. I thought you all would too, but you don't? Well, there is, a, uh, there is another program for bigger cities right now. That, uh, or is, that, is that what you mentioned? That uh, has already gone, huh? Yeah, there is now. The National Main Street Center, yes, of uh, the address which we have here, uh, has a program for cities of in excess of 50,000 population. And the first uh, competition has just uh, been and gone. And uh, the next one, I guess, will be next year. I'm not uh, that intimately familiar with it. We had a couple of, uh, we had several uh, Indiana applications. I would hope so, sure, I would hope so. I think this thing is just gangbusters politically. I mean, I just can't fail. I mean, who can be against it, you know? I mean, it's job creation, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's pretty, it uh, looks good, you can see it, uh, the visible change. Uh, uh, who, I mean, it, uh, uh, I, I, I just think it's, it, it, it can't do anything but get, uh, get better. The, as a matter of fact, the some of the cynics in the legislature, their main worry was, oh my God, it's going to get too big, you know. It's going to be too successful, literally. And we're going to have to put more money into it. You're creating another commission. You know, the lieutenant governor has done pretty well with getting uh, uh, various pots uh, for needs around the, around the state. And he's been a master salesman. I mean, his budget, you know, for industrial, uh, I'm not on his campaign staff, by the way, but is <laughs> living in Indianapolis, I have to, Mayor Hudnut is my mayor. But, um, you know, he's got these wonderful pots on, uh, for every, every need in the state, and uh, they just, you know, they don't know what to do. They just, he's rolling over them like a 500-pound elephant. And uh, that was our biggest thing. It's going to be too successful. It's going to get too big. It's going to be too much of a bureaucracy. I thought that was a great criticism. And I kind of welcomed that reaction. Guess that's it, George. <laughs>